Gregory, I'm Dorothy, and the other half is Roy. Um, I'm Roger Smith. And I, I was Mrs. Miss Hazeldine, but I lived on Charlotte Grove, West Richmond. Met my husband who lived down the meadows. I'm, I'm Peter Hammond. Oh, Bernard Miller. Uh, 90. Yesterday. So only just. <laughs> Married in 1957. Uh, and in those, we got married at St Giles Church and Canon Wilkinson, who was my grandmother's canon in uh, Northamptonshire, came to marry us. And but our wedding reception was at uh, the railway club on Wilford Lane. Well, in those days, people didn't have cars, not very many anyway. So we were in a wedding car, obviously, but we had to hire a bus. And we hired the West Bridgeford bus, because I was being a Bridgeford girl, I could ha have that. We had to pay for it. But in fact, when it came, it was a double decker. We thought it was going to be a single decker. They're a good uh, bus company, West Bridgeford. Very posh, you know. Oh, yeah, it's Bridgeford. Very posh. I uh, worked at West Bridgeford Passenger Transport Department from 1960 to 1965. Well, uh, I used to work as a, as a painter and decorator, and I was working uh, on a uh, uh, premises on Arkwright Street. And the buses, these used to run up and down. Unfortunately, well, I don't know what unfortunately, there was a stop right outside. I remember getting the bus from, well, we lived on Gertrude Road then, so I used to get the number 12 uh, Sundays to go to school. It was a single decker, and the fare to Trent Bridge was a hate loop. I was only nine when the Westbridge bus was finished, so, but I have very fond memories of them because I caught them every day to school, to South County Junior School. Um, I was lived on the 21 route when lane, and I've always had the newest buses on my route, particularly these two here, 39 and 40, which are my favourite buses. My, mo my mother could never understand why I'd late home from school. It was because I let the city buses go by and catch a West Richard bus, one of these, to come home on. I was very patriotic, you see. So I have very fond memories of riding on those particular vehicles. Great days. And uh, the bus would stop, the bell would ring, ding, ding, and it was off. I thought it was really jolly. Yeah, those were the days. Yeah. At the same time, I can remember the postal bus, which was uh, a, the nine o'clock bus from the terminus at, at Bolton Grove. And on its platform, there was a, a box for collection of posts. So still things have to move on, but these, they was great for me because I had to get on one to go town and to home. So it was it was a great time. My name is Nicola Tidy, I'm the marketing director for Nottingham City Transport. Started as a traffic clerk, finished up as senior traffic clerk. And when I was a child I used to live in West Bridgeford up on Wilford Hill uh, and uh, we had a choice of two services, the 15 which was the NCT Green and Cream buses and the 15A which was the West Bridgeford bus and I don't know why but we always preferred the 15A and we often used to try and persuade our mum to wait for the next bus so we could catch the 15A and we just liked the colours and uh, it, they, were, they were really a bit old bone shakers but they were, they were great fun, we really enjoyed them. I thought it was a lovely time. I'm, I'm sorry that those days have gone. A bit more relaxed and you could get home. You could jump off the bus if you wanted to, which is dangerous now. Right, that is my father. His name is Kenneth Astill. A-S-T-I-L-L, he says. And that is with his conductor and his name was Cyril Locke. Um, one of my uh, first memories of it is, uh, is the first job in the morning was when the manager, Mr. Harrison, the traffic manager, um, Bill Owen and myself counted the cash from the previous day. It, uh, it was a bit of a revelation for me to see that the, the manager of the undertaking was there working away counting the cash. I do remember once when I was on one of the buses, it was winter and I got gloves on and I was standing on the um, platform waiting to get off the bus and it jerked slightly and I was holding on with my gloves and I swung right round and hung out the bus as it approached the bus stop and the bus conductor was going berserk trying to get me back in the bus. <laughs> And that was taken, oh gosh, it was uh, with West Bridgeford Urban District Council till 1968, I think it was, or 1960s when they changed over to Rushcliffe. And he, was, he went on most of the services, but the number 11, 21, up to Ed Walton. Yeah, yeah, good. And I've still got some of his uniform, actually, as well. So. 
and I say thank goodness West Bridgeford Transport. It was part of my life and this is why I'm here today with the balloon to show everybody what I'm doing and I thank them very much indeed.